guys and thank you so much for coming back and watching my video happy new year i cannot believe it's 2016 i really hope you all had a wonderful christmas or hanukkah whatever holidays you guys celebrate and a very happy new year as well so today i'm gonna be talking you through my top 10 favorite beauty products of 2015 so if you want to know what they are please keep watching so my first product i have been using on and off since i was yeah early 20s um and it is the lizard cleanse and polish this product literally changed my life and you guys should definitely try it because hopefully it will change yours if you definitely someone who suffers from breakouts and sensitive skin this is perfect you can use it over your eyes i did take a break from lizelle and then i was just kind of discovering new things but last year it seems i've just been using this every single day and night got my boyfriend using it you can get it from boots and that's exactly where i get mine um, this is 150 mil. I think you can get a larger one, which is a 200 mil. But I like this one because it has a nice pump head, so it's really easy for when you're, you know, not having to squeeze it out or anything like that. It is just a great product, and you can't have beautiful makeup if you don't have a great base to put it on. So always cleanse your skin. So I'm going to try and keep the theme and that it kind of flows. So my next product is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I love this. I can't express how much this has changed my skin. This is really indulgent, luxurious. It does have a very hefty price tag. I always think moisturisers and oils and stuff like that is really good to invest in and this was I think £70 um, and they've just bought out a nighttime version which I'm really excited to go and try. This just has done the trick already. Beautiful packaging, it's just gorgeous. It has SPF 15 which I love. The smell is divine. It, whenever I seem to put this on, especially during the winter months, it just really sinks in, makes my skin super soft so those days where you want to have a makeup free day rest assured your skin will be looking flawless and have a nice sheen to it with charlotte tilbury's magic cream so number three on my top 10 i think took 2015 by a storm every blogger everyone was just obsessed with it and when you see it you'll know why and that was the Beauty Blender. This was actually originally red and I got this from Netta Porter and it's actually changed colour to orange which I'm really disappointed about. But it still does the job. It has changed the way I've applied my foundation. It leaves my skin again looking flawless. I get so many compliments at how even my face looks and it's all due to the Beauty Blender. I'm planning on getting the tiny little ones because I heard that they are really good for under your eyes and getting around your nose and really tough to reach areas um so it, that is on my wish list maybe for my birthday i might just get it i wish i knew about this sooner but 2015 this has been like my little baby i highly recommend it guys if you have not already tried the beauty blender definitely get yourself one i think they're like 12 to 15 pounds and you will see the difference straight away so number four is something that i get asked a lot is what foundation do i use is it really expensive where can i get it and my little beauty secret and if you've seen any of my makeup tutorials you have seen me use it and that is the max factor base infinity all day flawless i swear by this foundation it's inexpensive it has all benefits of a primer, concealer and foundation all in one. It gives such great flawless coverage. I have been using this for years and again 2015 I just kind of rediscovered my love for it. I think the year before that I was using L'Oreal True Match foundation which I did like but I always just come back to Max Factor and Face Finity. I use the colour Golden 75 and I would say this is the perfect shade for someone of my complexion. 
I've got quite olivey skin tone but with like yellow undertones so to kind of neutralize that yellowiness that you have to go with something a bit more golden just to kind of bring it out what I love about this is that it has an SPF of 20 really has to start looking after your skin and I am approaching the later end of my 20s so yeah I like SPF in absolutely everything moisturizer foundation concealer if it doesn't have SPF I will not buy it so it's worth checking out number five is something new for me for this year I never included this product in my skincare routine and I always used to wonder why my makeup would not stay or it would get quite greasy and it would run or and my friend recommended me to try a translucent setting powder but I kind of felt like the ones that I was trying they were on the cheaper end of the scale so it did make my face look whiter and that's what I thought I thought all of them would be like that that they would make my face white and when I would take pictures they would just look really my skin would look really pasty and flaky, it would just dry up my skin. I feel like I've been using this forever, when really I only got introduced to this in 2015. It sets, it gives you that nice uh, flawless sheen, it keeps your makeup staying in place a hell of a lot longer than if you didn't use this product. Um, it a little goes a long way, you don't, you don't need to use a lot. Um, I use the most tiniest amount and just set my face, brush it all over my face. Um, you can use this as well to bake under your eyes um, for like highlight and contour. Love, love this. <laughs> <sighs> Halfway through, if you've stuck around for this long, thank you. Now on to the second half. So number six is the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick for highlight and contour this is my go-to product i've used this in a couple of tutorials which i will link down below and this is in color shade warm almond 6.5 it is just really good to just give your face a bit more de definition um and a bit more warmth i got this for 22 pounds why do i feel like everything that i buy is 22 pounds I have no idea I'm, it probably isn't 22 but yeah it's just really great there's nothing really that I can say about it because I love all these products they're all lovely all amazing all great quality and I'm sure this is like a, this has been around for longer than 2015 I'm sure it got released in 2014 but I only got to know about it um, last year so and I've been using it ever since you get a lot of product in there and you only need to use a little bit. Love Bobbi Brown's products anyway. Another product which got released this year and it, it was actually the first kind of YouTube video that I did. It was for the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. It was actually in Elle magazine, like a little tester. Tried that, I'll link it down below. It was terrible lighting, I didn't really know what to say, I just knew that I loved it so much. So yeah, so from that little tester to now, I actually have the full size. I've got a couple of these, I think this is my second one that I've gone through. The packaging is beautiful, everyone just loved it. It's just, it really does thicken, lengthen your eyelashes, I've got them on now. As you can see. But I think they would be nothing if I didn't have the right mascara. And like I said, this lengthens, um, thickens, and the brush head is just, it's curved. So it really does get in there, gets all the little eyelashes. And the formula inside actually helps curl the lashes as well. So you don't need to use eyelash curlers. And I don't, because who's got time to sit there and curl the eyelashes? I really don't have time. This does everything for you. So I think I'll be using this for many years to come. Number eight is... <laughs> for my day-to-day -day wearing my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara on a night out, I would not be complete without my Huda lashes. 
I love these. I got a friend of mine to get a bunch of these from Sephora in Dubai. I saw loads of people wearing them and 2015 I saw docked up boy because I don't know where you can get it from in this country. I love the whole marketing scheme behind this where you'll probably see so many people on Instagram with posing with their hooded lashes. I'm in love with the Samantha pair and yeah they're just really good eyelashes for when you're going out. I literally have so many like no joke. I have probably got 12 of these. Next time someone else goes to Dubai or to New York or anywhere where there's a Sephora, guaranteed on my wish list is a box of these. They don't feel like they're heavy on the eyelashes, sits really well. I just love them and 2015 was the year that I got them. And my other product that I think I have kind of neglected is the NARS Catfi Lipstick. It just gives you that really nice shade of pink. I'm wearing it on today and I always just seem to wear it. I wear the MAC Dervish Lip Liner and NARS Cat Fight Lipstick. It is always in my handbag. It's my fail safe lipstick and it is my go-to. So 2015 brought in the makeup trend between highlight and contour and strobing it seemed like everybody was jumping on board and trying all these amazing products and for me I took notice of Anastasia Beverly Hills this year this year last year and her famous contour palette I remember when this first came out and it was completely sold out in the UK and then finally I saw it on Netta Porter and I was just in love I use this palette nearly every day and I am kind of scared a little bit to use it because it's just so lovely and you never know when it could be out of stock again but I think 2016 I definitely want to try her cream contour palette but for now I just love the powder ones you've got your under eye corrector to get any rid of dark circles you've got your highlighters you've got your contour shades I just love it it really does sculpt your face and if you've never tried contour before because you are I know loads of people are afraid of contouring. You just think you're going to leave and you're going to have like these massive brown lines on your face. But the key is to always blend. Blend, blend, blend. And use just a tiny bit. And you'll see the difference it makes. It makes you look slimmer in your face. And I think after Christmas, after eating too many mince pies, I think we all need a bit of sculpting and slimming down on the face. So this, I think, has to be my number one, my favourite top 10 beauty product of 2015. And that's it, guys. Those are my top 10 2015 beauty products. I can't believe that it has been a year of me creating youtube videos and being a blogger it's crazy and i feel like this year has really really flown by a lot has happened to me ups downs i have written like my 2016 goals so if you would like to read that i will link my blog post below for you hopefully you can get some inspiration and it might motivate you to achieve what you want to achieve in 2016 I can't thank you guys enough and I really hope 2016 is prosperous and you achieve everything that you guys want to achieve and I can't wait to share more of my life, my beauty routines, skincare, things that I find. Comment down below if you have any wonder products um, from last year. I would, so if you did like this video guys, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new and you've stumbled across, please subscribe so that all my content can get emailed to you so you're in the know. That is it. I will not keep you much longer. Thank you so much guys for watching. Mwah. See you in my next video. This is you and me.